Okay, we're going to solve this system of equations. Notice that we have the x being isolated already. x is equal to 8y minus 2. So I think it's a good idea to just do substitution. Therefore, I will just put this right here, right? You put the first equation into the second equation like that. And we will see that this is going to give us 3 times the x. And the x is that now. Open the parentheses and you enter 8y minus 2. And we continue. We add a 4y after that, and that's equal to 0. From here, we can solve for y. Of course, go ahead and distribute. 3 times 8y, that's 24y. 3 times minus 2, that would be negative 6. And then, this time, well, that's it, right? So we continue, just write down plus 4y. That's equal to 0. OK, to continue with this, combine like terms. And we see that this is 28 y, and then the minus 6 is equal to 0. And I will just have to add a 6 on both sides so that they cancel. And then I will end up 28y equals positive 6. And this is 28 times y. So divide both sides by 28. So that this and that will be cancelled. And here we have a fraction, 6 over 28. We can reduce this by 2. So I'll divide this by 2. Likewise, I'll do that right here. And we see y will be 6 divided by 2 is 3. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So y is equal to 3 over 14. However, we're not done yet because we also have to find out what x is. And we can look at the first equation. It's easier this way because x is by itself already. We know x is equal to 8 times y. But we know y is equal to 3 over 14. So I'll just write that down. And then I will just have to minus 2 after that. That's pretty much it, right? And of course, we have to work this out. And you see, this is like saying 8 over 1. And again, we can cross-reduce whenever we are multiplying fractions. Look at the 8 and the 14. And we know 2 goes into 8 4 times. And 2 goes into 14 7 times. And that's the most that we can do right now. And finally, x is equal to, you see, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 7 is 7, so we have 12 over 7, but we still have to minus the 2, like this. Now we have to subtract fractions. This right here is 12 over 7 minus 2. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. I need to get a common denominator, which is the 7. That's multiplied by 7 here, and also 7 here. So we see x is equal to 12 over 7 minus 2 times 7 is 14, over 1 times 7 is 7. And finally, we just have to focus the top. 12 minus 14, that will give us negative 2. So x is equal to, the top gives us negative 2, and the denominator stays the same. So that's what we have. Finally, I'll write down the answer right here for you guys. x is negative 2 over 7. Meanwhile, the y is 3 over 14. And this right here is it.